Yo, what's up? Behind me here, I have the Volkswagen ID3. And in this video, I'm gonna try to find out if it's possible to keep the car in the camp mode or you know, to keep the heater running. For example, if you have to idle for a long time or sleep in the car, I don't know if people will do it with an ID3. But uh, I've seen it in, uh, in the forums actually that uh, ID3 owners or possible ID3 owners, they want to know about this. If there's a way to get something equivalent to Tesla's camp mode. So right now the car has been charged up and it's just sitting in the garage. And I want to keep it in the garage because uh, we won't be able to lock it while we're doing the test. Because I'm not going to sit in the car and wait. But let me show you here. Ooh, yeah. So I have brought a bag of rice. <laughs> Let's get inside. First we have to... Okay, you see, when you enter the car... Wait, it was there. It disappeared. So this is so inconsistent. There was this preheating button. You can activate preheating. So it stays on for half an hour until you, yeah, and then it, and then, and then it shuts off uh, the heater. But what I found out to work is that if you buckle up, I'm gonna show you here, try to show you. Uh, you, you buckle up behind you. I'm trying to do this with one hand. You take this one and then buckle up behind you. That's what I did when I camped. Okay, now you see, we we'll buckle up. And then when you press the, the brake now, see, now, now the car is in, in the not ready state. So you can do two things. You can press the power button there or just push the brake. And then it says drive system error. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Wait, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, maybe the car is just booting up. Okay, that, that was not as, as intended. Uh, uh, drive system error, uh, uh, huh? Okay, there's the inverter, okay. What, can I drive the car? Yeah, I can drive the car. What? This is the press car. Wait, how can I see that message again? Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, let's, hopefully that won't affect our test still. I don't know what's wrong with the car. Maybe it will, uh, let me restart the car, or let me just, uh, okay. Okay, I unbuckle and <laughs> the error is gone. And this is the one I was gonna show you. This is very nice. If you enable it, it will keep the car heated while you are shopping or especially in Norway when you're charging and you go somewhere and you're not inside the car, it will keep it, keep the air conditioning or the heater running for half an hour. We're, we're not gonna use that feature. So now I will buckle up again you see that the heater running, we're pulling 8.7 kilowatt hour per hour. <laughs> yeah, so it's pulling a lot of power right now because it initially heated. It's not too important how much it pulls, but this is the setup. And this is what I did when I was camping in minus 25. Uh, so I can enter and exit the car because if you don't buckle up behind you like this, then every time you exit the car, it will shut down. And then it takes forever to start up again and heat and start the heater and all that shit. So. So this works when you go in, in and out of the car a lot. But of course you don't do this while you're driving. <laughs> and then we put this one here, I guess. Hopefully that will trigger the butt sensor. I'm not sure. This is extra premium selected jasmine rice. Good shit. The whole bag is 20 kilos, but we've been eating a lot of it. So, so you see, I, I want to do it like this because then out from outside, Okay, car is not locked, that's fine. Well, it bugs about vehicle, I mean, key not inside. Will it shut down? No, no, okay, it stopped bugging there. Okay, see, it, it just, it just bugged initially and then, but what is important is that the heater is running. Okay, so, uh, it's been, yeah, well, I have to start my uh, stopwatch. Um, and then I will just go inside. I will close the door, uh, the garage door because, uh, yeah, we can't lock the car. What, can we? Now you say it doesn't work, yeah. Uh, wait, can I, can I lock from the key? What is it, that's, that's, that's interesting. No, you see, it just, it, it's still open. Yeah, so whatever. So we, we uh, close the garage door and then we come back in about half an hour. Okay, it's been actually over an hour. I've just been busy doing some stuff in my home. So let's check out now. The ID3 has been sitting here in the garage. Let me see what it looks like. Wait, the lights are off. 
Nine, the car is dead. D-E-D. -E okay, that didn't help. All right, I think we have to add more weight here. Okay, here we have a manual and each of these black ones are 2.5 kilos. That's 10 kilo combined. And then the silver one here is one kilo. Okay, so 12 kilo plus the, the rod here. So we're talking about around 13 kilos. But do you lift, bro? Yes, I lift it. Oh, holy shit, this is heavy. 13 kilos, just put it here. Uh, uh. Okay, that should simulate a big fat German uh, guy. Okay, if that doesn't trigger it, then I don't know, let's just close it again. Okay, we can just double check now. Is it 3.5 kilowatt hour per hour? <laughs> and uh, then we wait again. Okay, so it's been almost half an hour now. I redid it, I restarted the car right before I started the clock, so it should be spot on half an hour. And you can also see here that the lights are on. And normally when I camp in a car, I would switch off the front light manually. But we should see now, and also see inside there that right now in the garage, it's only minus three degrees and the car is pulling only 1.8 kilowatt to maintain heat in the cabin. Whoa, we are past the half an hour mark. <coughs> and it seems to still be on. What? Maybe this is a trick then. I cracked the code. We have to, you have to always bring a manual with you and some uh, whatever heavy, because when I tried the camera equipment and whatever stuff I had, the laptop, it was simply not heavy enough. So it seems like we have to get, well, I actually don't know how much, but <laughs> more than 10 kilos. Well, I think the next step is to find out how much weight is needed. But I guess by this time, the car should have shut down, but it's still running. Oh, you can ca camp in the car then. <laughs> I'm going to use this trick. Yeah, because I'm planning on camping in the car tomorrow, but not overnight, but just for a couple of hours. Well, let's see. Maybe I'll bring the manual with me. Huh. Okay, now let's see. Uh, let's find out. Okay, so obviously the bag of rice was not heavy enough. We can just... We can, we can remove weight. Yeah, yeah, we can remove weight from this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I restarted the car, I restarted the timer, and I took off some weight from the, from the manual. And you see now we have 2.5, we have five, about six kilo plus that one, so around about 10. I think I'm gonna check it afterwards in my home scale. Uh, so now we have only 10 kilos here. Hopefully the weight is on the right place, so it, it gives enough pressure on the seat. And then we try again then. Now we wait. Okay, it's been almost an hour now, and this is great news because uh, when I open the garage door, the lights are on. So it means that the car is still awake and the trick actually worked. Yeah, so, uh, but it would be nice to know how many, ki yeah, yeah, see the car is still on. <laughs> We need to check roughly how much this is. I mean, if I want to find the exact weight, it's going to take a while, but rough estimate. Okay, I checked inside now um, on my bathroom scale that the, the sack of rice was actually 10 kilos. And then the manual uh, with only those two black weights were 6.5. So the combined weight was 16.5 kilos. So it seems like when I did the whole uh, uh, with the laptop and whatever luggage I had with me, uh, camera bag, that was probably less than 10 kilos. And you saw that when, with only the bag, 10 kilos, that's not enough. So we need maybe 15 kilos. Yeah. So at least now you know, it is possible to camp in an ID3. You just need about 10, uh, 15 kilos of weight on the seat, then it'll work. So that's pretty cool, yes. That's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.